Hi everyone, Matthew Mifsud, Adobe SC here, and today I'm going to show you a quick workflow of how you can create a language variation of an animated banner in Adobe XD using plugins. There are a variety of plugins that you can use to achieve this, but I'm going to focus on one. Also, I am just going to focus on one language, but this can be carried out across multiple languages, variations, shapes and sizes. So I am here in Adobe XD and I'm going to go into plugins. There's a variety of plugins that can deliver on this, but I'm just going to choose Docs to Design, which is a free trial, but it's great. So I'm going to select my artboards and create a new variant. So this is basically the variation of the language I want. So in this case, I am going to choose Italian. Okay. And I will save that variant, rename it. So now I've got a base, which is the English and Italian as my variation. I'm going to extract now an Excel sheet, which will then I will use to edit and add my new copy. So I'm going to load up my Excel sheet over here and you can see here different sheets have been created for each artboard, each one indicating where the copy is. So even here, for example, you can see there's a transparent bit there where the copy is, whereas here there's nothing. So I don't need to worry about it. So yeah, so now I have to fill all the new Italian variations here that I've got going on. So I'm just going to write the Italian translations or whatever copy I want this to be. And just to highlight the fact that this is an animated banner, which is why you've got copy there being marked, but it's transparent because uh, if anyone used XD, you know, to use auto animate, you do have to kind of hide things in the previous artboard. So I'm just going to finish off writing my copy immense. I might need to change that to all caps because that's the style that I am going for. And once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to select that, those cells copy them across the other artboards, basically, wherever they appear. There's nothing here that I need to change because that's the brand name. This needs to be changed to um, Edizione. Oh, I need to break that. So if I want that to be on two separate lines, I will need to account for that in my design. So this is going to be Edizione Speciale again. And uh, I will need to copy that across to go there. The buy now button as well, which I have at the end, which is a full design, needs to be changed to compra. And yeah, I'm just going to copy that. I don't need because it doesn't appear in the frame. And I'm just going to put that there. Great. So once I'm happy with all of my amends, I need to save this file. Okay. And then I will copy those artboards across. And select the original set. I'm going to first press, actually I need to press update first. So they update the Excel sheet and then I'm just going to press Italian and look and behold, all of my copy that I've changed has a bit updated to the Italian version. Just think how much time I saved. And the great thing is all of the animations have been preserved. So if I look at the banner and how it animates, everything works perfectly. Okay, you can also see here the cool effect being created by 3D Transform on that little graphic over there. So it's quite cool, actually. Hope you found this useful and looking forward to seeing you guys using this plugin for your translations.